Major League Baseball. Let's welcome in now Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter. Also with us, RNC Media surrogate and Atlanta business owner Bruce Lavelle. Congressman Bruce, great to see you both. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks, John. All right. The Washington Examiner reported that the decision to move the game out of Georgia is estimated to cost the state $100 million in lost revenue. Uh, the question for you, Congressman, is do we know how many jobs it's going to cost? Well, not only jobs. I mean, obviously, it's going to cost a lot of jobs. But think about those jobs that it's impacting the most. It's small businesses and minority small businesses that were depending on this. That's why it's so ridiculous that Major League Baseball is punishing the very people they, they claim to be helping and protecting. That is ridiculous. What they're doing is causing economic damage that for a lot of these businesses, they're not going to be able to recover from this. And it, it could be devastating to them. They were really depending on this. They already spent a lot of money advertising the All-Star Game. And now for Major League Baseball to come out and do this, I tell you, it's despicable. Yeah, you know, Congressman, you ran a uh, pharmacy in a small town for a long time, a business owner. You, you know this, Bruce, you know this as well. Um, yeah. But there's a domino effect here a lot of times when you know, there's a first wave of losses here when people start pulling back. But there is a downstream effect of this. And, Bruce, what are you hearing? What's the latest on the real economic impact of the loss of this game for dubious reasons pulling it out of Georgia? Yeah, and I ditto what uh, Congressman Carter is saying also. I'm a small business owner. And, John, I'm literally – probably eight minute drive from the stadium. Uh, my business is retail jewelry, of course, uh, manufacturing. We make little trinkets and uh, little charms and things of that nature. But fortunately, I'm more, I'm more diversified. However, uh, the smaller businesses, for example, for in the last three or four years, we had a very strong minority uh, gain as it relates to building small business under the Trump administration for obvious reasons, of course, with low regs and uh, et cetera, in terms of opportunity zones, and, and the list goes on. They were, you know, minority business was just starting to see the light. And it's very hard to be a vendor or let alone do business contractually with some of these bigger conglomerates for many years. So it's hard. So respectfully, I think it's honestly, I believe it's really more than 100 plus million because mm. it, it touches all different facets that you don't really realize that it actually touches. However, it is devastating in and for all businesses, not just minority businesses, but it's 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 stupid as foolish quote. And I hope some of the executives are watching this because I have a vested interest in the Atlanta area for over 27 years. This is my wheelhouse right here. So right. if you're listening right this, stop playing games like this. Take care of your customers. Take care of your people. Take care of the community. And let the employees go home and vote who they want to vote for or advocate who they want for and just take care of the business at hand. This is very devastating for any business. And you see what's going on with Delta. Yep. Guys, I had a lot of friends that sold a lot of Delta stock in the last week. Mm. Don't play games with this. <laughs> uh, Bruce, you mentioned you're close to the stadium. That puts you pretty close to the big chicken, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, they didn't protest the big chicken. I know. Well, they should put they should put a picture of Rob Manfred's face up on the big chicken right there. Probably pretty popular uh, right there idea. in uh, Marietta. Uh, Congressman Carter, you know, have you read or had a chance to take a look at the uh, Senate's antitrust bill yet? Uh, no, I haven't seen that particular bill, but I will tell you that I have signed on to a House bill that Representative Jeff Duncan from South Carolina is proposing and has submitted that it does essentially the same thing. Keep in mind that this antitrust legislation has never been codified. We've just been going along with the Supreme Court decision, as you said, 99 years ago. But this, and baseball is the only one, Major League Baseball is the only professional sport that gets this antitrust exemption. So there's really no reason why they should be getting it. And that's certainly something I'm in support of, and that is to do away with it. Yeah, this is kind of a, the way this works out in situations like this. It's kind of like the uh, the British system where you don't really have a law here. This is kind of like a sweetheart deal that was given to Major League Baseball at the time. They completely, you know, circumvented the congressional, the legislative process here, and they enshrined this for them. And I would imagine, Bruce, I mean, there's, we'll take the congressman out of this since he's obviously affected here. But I would imagine there are some hurt feelings by members of Congress for that. And should there well, should yeah, be. absolutely. You know, it's an old antiquated old 19, 18, what, 1700 law. But listen, John, we talked about this with all the shenanigans on these big corporations and big leagues, et cetera. Watch this. In the future, we're going to spur more competition. Don't be surprised if you see up and coming new leagues. You see what's going on in big tech in the social media world. You saw my good friend, uh, Mike Lindell. He just launched his social media site. The president's going to 
uh, launch one that's just going to be absolutely phenomenal. There's more competition coming, more talks of little miniature airlines and stuff coming up, more talks of more small minor leagues and other leagues coming up. Listen, stupidity is another man and woman's gain when you're that stupid and cutting your nose off and spite your face. So that's what I'm optimistic about all these shenanigans is, is the uprising of the American ingenuity and the new businesses, John, yeah. that's going to come to the forefront. That's that's true. You know, and Atlanta is known uh, as a phoenix that rises <laughs> from the ashes here. And I'm going go, to go deep, deep into the history books here. I, Congressman Carter, you may remember this, of course, uh, Kennesaw Mountain Landis was the first Major League Baseball commissioner, Kennesaw Mountain, of course, in Georgia as well. But Kennesaw Mountain Land is also a federal judge. So maybe that had something to do with his little sweetheart deal for Major League Baseball. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, and that's why that's why it's important, you know, that Congress gets involved in some of this stuff, because you can't have baseball commissioners making sweetheart deals with federal judges. And that's what this is all based on. Absolutely. And, and I wasn't around back then, but uh, <laughs> I, I suspect that, you know, it wouldn't surprise me at all if that's not what actually took place. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll look into it deeper, but uh, you can see the connection here. Um, sure. Congressman Carter, great to see you as well. And also, if anyone is down in the Savannah area, check out Pooler, Georgia, where Congressman Carter is from, a great little town yep. in South Georgia yeah. as well. And they're going to be hurt. I mean, that, that's the thing, too, about Georgia. It is really a statewide thing. When Atlanta suffers, the whole entire state suffers. And uh, Congressman Carter's district down there is going to suffer as well. Bruce, great to talk to you. I'll have to check out the jewelry store next time I'm in town. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah, you back. are in the doghouse, I heard, because you work too much. That's Yeah, that's true. That's true. There's no lie there. Thanks so much, Bruce. We'll see you soon. Congressman Carter, we appreciate it as well.